Hello, my name is Dr. Muff. And today you're going to learn about Schrodinger's life and his theory about atoms. Hi, Professor. Hi. I have to do a work about Schrodinger and I want to know something about this life. Could you tell me? Yeah, yeah. Well, Schrodinger was born on August 12th of 1887. Uh, his birthplace was Vienna, Austria. And, well, Edwin Schrodinger was a very brilliant theoretical and experimental physicist. Okay. And he worked on Vienna, Zurich, and Berlin in many institutes that are related a lot in what is physics. Okay, and what did he contribute to the matter theory? Where in the matter theory, he did the wave, ma wave theory of matter, and he also did the form of quantum quantum physics. Yeah. And last, he made a mathematical equation of wave mechanics that bears his name. Okay. Thank you very much. Hey, but if you want to know more about Schrodinger, let's go back in time. <laughs> Oh, but please, Professor, come on in. Thank you very much. Well, are you going to tell me about your investigation, your observations that you have done? Oh, of course I will. But, well... So, you know... I wanted to ask you something. So, what's wrong about that electrons going around in orbits? Well, after, my, after I made my investigation, I discovered that the electrons are really waves. That... But, hold! How, what do you mean with their waves? I mean, I thought they were particles. Ha! Huh. Well, here is when quantum physics it gets really bizarre. If you perform an experiment to see where a particle is, then you'll find something uh, particle-like. But otherwise, it's a wave that carries information uh, of where it is. But what do you mean probably is somewhere? It, like, they have to be in a certain place, in a definite place. Well, no, until you check where it is. It is really just a wave. And not only that, but, well, I show uh, that these electrons uh, don't even move. The waves are stationary. Each time you check where an electron is, you will find it in a different place. But that doesn't mean it's moving in between checks. For some energy level, if you check the position, Enough times you may you may see an orbit-like position. Oh, and that's why why orbits are useful. They may be misleading you about where the electron is, but they, but they tell you how much energy. Yes, that's right, and that I call it the energy level of electron, because the idea of an orbit is so misleading. Some of us started using a picture uh, of the atom, which just show energy levels as relative heights. Ah, okay, and of course that is your model, but in resume, what is your theory? Because I want to know that to continue with my observations. Well, uh, there are no, my, my theory is that there are no fixed trajectories, only the probability that electrons will be found in a certain area at a certain moment. Okay, well, then um, let's go to talk about the other scientists to know what they think about. Of course, let's go. Okay. Hey, have you heard about the Schrodinger's cat theory or I don't know if it's a paradox, I don't know, I've heard it. Of course, Schrodinger's cat is an imaginary experiment more like, like a paradox. It consists of a cat in a box with a flask of poison and the poison will be released at a random time. So if the poison is released, the cat dies, but if it isn't released, the cat, the cat stays alive. So, until you open the box, you don't know if the kite is alive or dead. So, it is considered to be alive and dead at the same time. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Whew. I hope you have enjoyed this trip. Yeah, it was really a long trip, but I learned a lot about it. Yeah, if I were your professor, I'll give you a hundred for this.